Okay, this is going to be a quick demo uh, for tips involved in getting the new store up and running. For example, if you're doing the free store, these are some tips for getting it up and running. Typically, when people start building their product database, they see that they have four products here, or they create 10, 15, 20 products, and then they go to their store, and they don't see anything. Now, just to keep it from simple for right now, what we're going to do is show you how you can get your products up and on your home page right away. We go to storefront, we go to web pages, we go to the home page editor, and there we can see the home page editor is controls all the content about around the home page. So here we can see something that's called featured products. So instead of doing anything else, you can simply get your 15, 20 products, up to 50 products, on the home page, all of them, by clicking on this button. Up brings your product database. You hit the Done button. You come over here and save. And then you go to your store to see the most recent changes and you'll see that I now have products on my home page so that you can do this just as well. Alright, let's go and take a quick look at creating a link. So we go back to the home page editor and we want to create a link. Okay, over here I've typed in hot items. Now what I'm going to do is create a link for this. I'm going to come up to this one here that says this icon here that says insert edit link. I click that on. It allows me to go to a user page, to an email, to a website. So I'm going to create a link to a website, but I have to go get the link first. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to this subcategory or category with these three products in it. I'm going to come up here and pay, copy this address. I'm going to go back to the home page editor and I'm going to go into that icon again. There it is. Click on the web address, paste in the web address, and then I'm going to go back to the beginning of the address and X out the HTTP there because it's already on the left as you can see. Then I click Save. I've now hyperlinked that hot items to a category that could also be labeled hot items wherein you can assign products to them. I hit the save button. I exit the home page editor. I go to my store. I click on the link here and that takes me to this category again. So what's great about this is that you can have all the catalog, category, subcategories over here, but you can also create highly targeted, prominent searches for either specific products or for categories that you can call recent items, hot, sa hot sales, hot items, um, on sale, uh, recent products, new products, or products that you simply want to sell. All right, let's go to some other uh, quick hints. Uh, for those companies that are starting up with the free store, let's go and take a look at the payment. The free store allows you to have a payment with either PayPal, the free PayPal version, or with the payment gateway called authorized.net. So the payment gateway would be here, and that's authorized.net only. And then there's PayPal. To set up the free PayPal, you simply go to the tab here under Payment, under Setup, under Payment, go to PayPal tab, and then the email account that you have with PayPal, you keep it in here, you save it, and then you'll all be automatically set up so that your customer can 
submit to PayPal for payment, okay? Uh, what you don't want to do is if you have the free store, but you're not going to use Authorize.net, you're just going to use PayPal, what you don't want to do is come into the gateway, the gateway and enable any of these credit cards, okay? That is for Authorize.net only. That's for the payment gateway to accept credit cards through Authorize.net. If you're just going to accept PayPal, you want to not authorize the payment gateway, lest you should um, confuse the customer with an option that you really don't mean to present. Also new to this um, setup feature is currency. So, for example, we default to the American currency, but if you're from around the world, as we have customers in Italy, New Zealand, Australia, and other places, you can choose to, for example, choose the euro as your denominated uh, currency. Okay, so that's a new feature here. So let's take a look at one more, and that is in the sales order setting. And there is now inventory control. You can enable inventory control so that if the items are sold out, you can leave the item in the store but disable the shopping cart so people can't buy it, or you can remove the item from the store. Once it is uh, sold, it will disappear from your store. Now, the warning here is that if you create 40 or 50 products or 2,000 products and you enable the inventory control, all your products have to show some inventory or they will be disabled or they will disappear. So before you enable the inventory control, you want to be very clear that you have uh, a number entered into the product page under inventory. And that would be right down here, in stock quantity. It has to be more than one or one or above in order for it to show up if you enable the uh, inventory control. So you want to be careful with that. That's about it.